How's it going guys? TJ here. I am so excited to get into this unboxing. Um, this is something really cool and special to me because unlike last year, I did get my hands on the SNES Classic uh, this time around. Well, actually, last year it was the NES Classic. I think you guys get what I mean. Um, and so, I did wait a few hours in line at my local Walmart. And of course, as it turns out, with my luck, I didn't actually have to, but everyone in the line that waited with me, which is about 20, 21 people that ended up showing up early, um, it was just funny to all of us because it turns out there's actually 37 units in stock, so we really didn't even have to get there before midnight, but how would we have known that? Because uh, we all, well, a lot of us actually called ahead of time. And none of the staff told us the uh, amount that they had in stock until later on in the evening. So, uh, of course, we all got there hours early, but that's okay. So, with that being said, let's get to the main event here. This is so exciting. The unboxing of the SNES Classic. It's, of course, this year it comes with two controllers that are very extremely similar to the original SNES controllers. Not exact, but very similar. Um, oh, 20, over 20 uh, awesome uh, games, some of the highest titles of the uh, that of uh, this uh, time period for this console, um, especially some of my favorites, Super Mario World, uh, Super Mario Kart, F-Zero, um, Donkey Kong, those are just some of my favorites, um, but there's tons of them, which I'll show you in a second. Um, now, uh, again, this is a miniaturized version of that, keep in mind. Um, so, you know, you, you, you're going to get not an exact replica, but pretty close to it. Uh, and of course, on this side, it just tells you all about the controller, which, as I just said, it's pretty much similar to what you had in the original SNES controller. And back here, you get a really nice look at all the games included. It, it, you know, it goes all the way from uh, Donkey Kong, whoops, Donkey Kong to F-Zero to uh, a few Super Mario games, you get Super Mario Kart, Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars, you get uh, Mario World, and then a few other, you get Yoshi's Island, another great game, you know, you get all these uh, awesome titles uh, included, which I think it makes it such an attractive value for people, and, um, if, if my experience of getting this uh, tonight is any indication, which it may or may not be, uh, it looks like maybe this time around Nintendo is taking it a little bit more seriously and is really giving the consumers what they want. Now, I was glad to pay the $80 because it includes some really great titles, but also it does give you two controllers in box, which, you know, Last year, the issue wasn't just the the unavailability of the console itself, but also the fact that people couldn't get their hands on uh, additional controllers for the thing. So this time around, uh, Nintendo also took care of that by including two light in box. So, with that being said, let's get to the highlight itself, the uh, actual unboxing. But I did want to show you the packaging as well. So, now we just come over here. And I believe there's no tape on this, and there's not. So we just take this one out, take this tag out, hopefully. And then, open it right up. I am so excited, guys. I'm seeing this for the first time along with you guys. Whoops. I thought I was going to knock the camera over, but I did. Thank goodness. Okay. Bear with me, guys. I'm trying to do this carefully as to not drop the console itself and also not knock over the camera. So I think I'll take this right to the... Let's throw this right to the side for now. I think. And of course, this is the highlight of what you guys want to see. We have some documentation. It looks like it's telling you all about the games and everything else like that, which is pretty cool. Um, some of the information there, I don't think you guys really want to see that. 
let's get right to the highlight, the meat of this unboxing. Is of course this guy here, wrapped so nicely in paper. There she is. That is so cool. That's just awesome, guys. Tell me that's not awesome. It really does look. It's uh, it really is just a naturalized replica of the SNES. But look at the detail on it. It's awesome. Really cool. I mean, yeah, it's funny. One of the most common things I hear from people is, oh, just just use an emulator. Just use an emulator. I hear that all the time. I'm sorry. With all due respect, it's not the same. You can use an emulator all day long as much as you want. But it'll never replicate the quality that Nintendo can offer you on this um, little system here. And for $80, come on. It's a cool collector's item. So, that's the SNES itself. I'll show you one more time, just so you can really get a good look at it. Uh, of course, major differences being, of course, uh, unlike the original, you obviously have HDMI and uh, your DC you know, your power. But, this is a, also, again, such an attractive uh, value for, for people is... You know, if you're not a, a hot, you know, if you're not a gaming or a retro gaming hobbyist, you may not want to go out and get an original SNES, like some diehard hobbyist would say. You know, this is just so cool. Just plug it into your TV and go. Um, and of course, you get in the box this year two controllers. I'll just unwrap one of them for you since they're both the same, obviously. Whoops. Sorry about that, guys. And there it is. That's just awesome. That's just so awesome. It, um, like I said earlier, it looks and feels pretty much identical to the original. Not exact, but pretty close to it. Um, and as the, the, the buttons and the keypad have nice um, tactile feedback to them. Yep. Feels great in the hand. So that is the SNES Classic Controller. It looks and feels awesome. Again, if you like me and you, and you geek out over this retro gaming stuff, then you're just going to love this. This is so cool. And again, I think for me, it's that extra value of, you know, nostalgia because I didn't get my hands on the NES Classic last year uh, despite my absolute best efforts to do so. Uh, and this year, uh, well, I'm sorry, next year, Nintendo intends on releasing it again. Uh, I will not camp out for the NES Classic, though, uh, like I did tonight for the for this one. Um, if I can just easily get it in store, I'll do so, but that's about it. But this is really cool, uh, especially since I'm so looking forward to playing Super Mario World and uh, Classic Mario Kart. So with that being said, I'm going to end this video here so I can actually go do so. But uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you in my next video. And also, as of the very end, I'm going to give you one last quick look at the unit itself. Again, this awesome detail. It looks great. Um, I will say good luck to all of you. I think if you really want one of these bad enough guys, I don't think anybody should have too much of a problem this time around. Again, I hope I'm not putting my foot in my mouth by saying that, but I think you guys should be okay with getting one if you really want one because uh, this is just a great, great little uh, novelty gift either to yourself or to somebody else. If they love gaming or retro gaming, I suggest picking this up. Awesome. And I will do a full view of it as well. So with that being said, guys, thanks for watching. And until next time, peace out for now.